Hi, good morning. I just wanted to come on knowing that it's right now, if you're getting this uh, at current time, depending on whenever you watch this, it is the holiday season and Christmas is around the corner. And so because I'm not going to be on during um, Christmas, I thought, I think it's actually Christmas Eve or Christmas, that I decided to do a little bit longer and see if you like this and see what you think um, with a fun little project that I think you will like. And these are uh, some items that I pop out really quick when I'm trying to do a gift. And I want you to think about the pure love of Christ during this season and the love of the Savior. What he did is that he, he served others. And it wasn't with, with uh, buying presents. It's um, a forever giving a uh, gift that always gives. And that's the Savior. Listening to our prayers, sacrificing, being an example, giving the scriptures to read. There's many blessings that we have from that. And this time of the year, um, I hope that we can be focused to that and take every day during this time um, something you could say or do or think about those that you love and those that your neighbors and friends. All right. And so are we going to relax and paint? We're going to breathe in deep. I love being on with you guys. Please let me know if you're happy with what I'm sharing or if you have some other things you'd like to see me do besides relax and paint. I'm game. Let me know what you want. Um, I'm getting lots of input and I, I appreciate that. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about working on a charger, um, which are these different types of chargers. Okay. These are Dollar Tree chargers. Uh, there's all kinds of beautiful rustic looking ones, different colored ones um, that are out there at other stores. I've gone to Hobby Lobby and some of the other places. I also did lanterns out of these dollar uh, I think they're all at my studio, but uh, lanterns out of these dollar jars and put the, the battery operated lights inside. So let me show you a couple things I would do um, and see what you think. Okay, so let's go through the overhead. All right, and we're going to start painting. Yeah. Okay, so let's go right here. And I was worried about being a little bit of a glare over here. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put out some colors that I want to use. And we got, these are all multi-surface, so you can put them on different surfaces that we're working on. Okay. Glare is right on us. All right, maybe I'll go away a little bit. <laughs> maybe not. All right, I thought I had it fixed. Okay, so a couple of things I'm going to do. One is I'm going to um, sponge on a little bit of paint on here, for what I want to do. So I'm going to have some white. I even have some fun little uh, different types of paints I'm going to share with you today. And some dragonfly. I'll show you how to use that later, which is a really fun, 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 fun look. All right. So then we're going to get out, we're going to use a three quarter and sometimes a 16 depending on what size i'm sorry i didn't take the lid off that there's a double seal on here i'm taking that off so we're ready to go all right so um i'm going to decide so i can paint this sponge this on a little bit before we get started so when we are ready to paint it will be ready for us Okay, so yeah, tapping the bottle that gets the excess paint down to where it needs to be. All right, so I want to leave a space 
square the uh, I don't want the paint because that's how you're gonna see the candle okay so I'm gonna just go around take off the lid and I put ribbon around this lid because you might want to put a real candle in there all right so I'm gonna go just around with my dry sponge all right so it stays on this glass see how I'm tapping Okay, now I used, I did a lot of white during the holidays, but this one's going to be year round. So if you put a light tapping, okay, and this is my Donna Dewberry painter sponge. I'm going to leave a space there, remember, for the candle. And I, I'm not kidding you how many times I forget that. And then I'm going around getting it all sponged in and cover the whole thing. <laughs> which is okay because I can wipe it off. Okay, so citrus and sap green. These are the two greens. And I'm just putting a pounce layer. I also have um, a frosting that you can put. I'm gonna put paint all over my white. It just changed underneath here. I also have a frost glass paint that looks like sea glass. And that's really fun to put on here too. And that's this is just exactly how how you apply that, okay? So I'm gonna put this to the side, all right? And then I'll be ready to, let's paint on the silver one today, all right? So I'm gonna fold up my sponge, guys. Fold it and put it in water until you can go clean it, all right? I fold it and put it down under the water so it doesn't dry out particles. All right, so I'm going to do grapes today, and I'm going to show you how to do these grapes if you haven't already seen on the preview what we're going to be doing. I'm going to use daubers. They're wood daubers, okay? And I, I don't ever, almost ever, paint a grape anymore without daubers. Um, I can, but there's no need to <laughs> when you have something so fun as a dauber to make it happen. All right. So I'm going to take and load my brush. Now this is where I got my paint out already. And I'm going to go in between the two colors. Now you can use my double loader, which I have shown you here before how to use that double loader. So you can go back and check that out. But since I already have this paint out, I'm going to use it. All right, so I'm getting this brush two thirds full, okay? I want it up, push hard and fast which works it into the bristles, okay? Then I can go over here and say, I want a little bit of white. I don't want it too white because we're on a silver background, all right? So to get the grapes started, I want you to see that I'm gonna do a V, all right? And I think I will put the light on the outside. All right, so. I'm going to wiggle and slide to a tip. Then I'm going to slide back to the middle and come closer. Okay. Now I'm going to wiggle out, back, push down, and stand up. Now this is where I want your eyes to be looking. I want your eyes to be on the outside edge. So right here, this is where people forget. When they come here, then they go like this. When you're up here, you're gonna go back to the Y. The lines are where this chisel edge starts. Relax. Okay, breathe easy. You've got this talent. You just have to practice it. Now, I'm not getting enough color. So out again, slide back to the middle, push down. Right down here, we want a bigger heart effect. And then all we have to do at the end here, guys, is we, is we stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, and slide to a point. Now, what people want to do is they want to twist this brush. See, they want to take it and twist it. Don't twist it, look. 
I'm gonna, you can repaint something you don't like too. Look at that. I'm going to go to the point, slide back. Now push down. I'm flat. I'm flat with this brush. And then I want you to wiggle and then start lifting pressure so that you're slowly standing up and going to the chisel. All right. Now... I want the dark to go in, so I'm going to start up here. Now look what I'm doing. I'm lightly lifting and going into my leaf. All right. I got really big on that one, but I'm not happy with that. Look. You can pull out into the leaf some of that shading. Or, see, there's a fix. I like to fix it in front of you so you can see what I would have done if I was unhappy with my chisel into my leaf. Okay. Now, I do put a few smaller leaves, but let's do one more grape leaf. And this time, what am I going to put out here? I'm going to put a little bit of pretty, this is called Juneberry, or it can be purple. A little teeny bit. See that? I'm going to take the dark into that Juneberry. All right. So over here, <clears throat> here's my Y. I'm going to go just like this, out to a point, slide back, out to a point, slide back, and down. Now, what I want you to know is one stroke painting means you blend, shade, and highlight in each stroke. Blend, shade, highlight, but guess what? You have to have pressure. See that pressure I'm putting? I'm getting more paint. So look. Push, lift, push, come down. All right, and you pull this down part way in. All right, now I'm going to put that brush down and show you that I can use an ankle brush. These are my Donna Dewberry signature brushes. I'm going to use an angle brush and I can just pick up some citrus and citrus green. This is all multi surface, and this is Juneberry. Citrus and Juneberry. And I want the, the point, the toe of this brush to be the Juneberry. So as I'm stroking, watch this. I can push down and as I stand up, that toe gives me my point. And it also gives me a really thin little line. Now when people paint with this, they think you paint with the whole chisel. But the deal is, you want to paint with this. When you're using it for vines, you're going to stand up and not get the whole brush. See so, see the light greens up? <clears throat> so we're on glass or these plates, these chargers, either one. Oops, I need to I get some more paint. <clears throat> either one of them. This multi-surface paint works really nice. Push, lift, and pull. Now I'm going to put most of this in after I finish my grapes. Okay. But I want to show you how pretty the color is. All right. So how are we doing over here? Ah, it's not totally dry, <clears throat> but I can show you. Uh, I'm going to go down to a 16. <clears throat> Excuse me. Breathe. Are you breathing? I want you to enjoy and not stress. This leaf does take a little bit for you to practice and get to know. So here's another way you can do it. You can take and wiggle out. Wiggle out. And then paint a heart in the middle. All right. And then pull a stem into it. That doesn't look good on that side. Paint a heart into it. 
right it's a little blurry i think i'm too close all right now i'm going to put a little bit of june berry and show you that i think that looks a little bit better let's give you a little bit of i'm not happy that's the beauty about one stroke painting where you reload the brush and we restroke all right you need darkness for it to show on here there we go all right so on this side i'm going to put the june berry in the center on this side and then pull the stem in okay all right so now look i want to come along here let's wait a minute let's put another leaf over here all right let me just show you that i keep coming over here look all right so i'm going to come down come over here and come in and then i can just add the heart right in the middle here and that's just an easier way to get a great leaf i do an ivy leaf oops guess what it's not dry underneath and if i'm working it i'm lifting it i just want to be able to show you a few things before we are over okay And I can just do the heart. Okay. I'll do one more over here. And one side of the heart. And then, so you are going to be happy when you see how fast this happens. So right now I'm just putting different colored leaves right on the glass. So we're going to come right here with citrus and Juneberry. And put a lot of paint. Push, stand up, pull. Push, stand up, pull the stem. Look how pretty that color looks on there. That's Juneberry and Citrus. I don't think y'all can see that well. Let me turn it this way. And so glass and lights <laughs> are tricky. So look, a little bit of white really changes the look. Pull the stem. All right, so I'm just coming all around this pretty edge. Remember, a candle inside that's lit by battery is wonderful. If you're going to put a candle inside otherwise, make sure it is in a glass. The glass candle is glass with candle inside, so when it melts, it doesn't ruin your um, your inside your lantern. All right. So now we're ready for grapes. Now I picked. Oh, there it is. I picked two sizes, and I can add branches later. But what these colors I'm using? I'm going to put a little bit of purple which this is color shift is even another kind of fun paint okay it's metallic and <clears throat> i have little oh, bits of green that i put into sometimes into the grapes like they would be new grapes 
Okay, so I put a little bit of green color shift. I like this uh, citrus color or lime color uh, flash. All right, then I told you we are going to use, where is it? Oh, we're going to use some of this dragonfly later. I'll show you how fun that is. All right, so I was going to put out <clears throat> maybe a little blue. So we could decide. I'm going to start with the Juneberry first. All right, so this is a dry sponge. It's on a wood stick. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick it up, make a circle, make sure it's really on the sponge, not in the middle of the puddle, out to the edge of the puddle. All right, out here. All right, now I want to get. I'm going to start this way first. All right, so this is what happens. I'm going to push and twist. Tap. All right, I want the ones in the back. I'm going to add a little bit of blue. This is cobalt. Yeah, so see it's darker. So I want some darker ones. After you get going, you got the right color. You push and twist and overlap. And, the, and I keep picking up. Can you see me? I'm going to keep picking up. Now I do dark underneath the cluster of grapes. So that's what I'm going for right now. Is this is going to be a big cluster of grapes. And this, these are the underneath. I want you to tap so it blends it. I don't want it to be a big clump of paint. See when I'm doing that you can see the shading. So I push, twist, push, twist, then I can tap it to blend it, all right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a few more clusters up here. The reason I put the blue is I want the darkness in the background. I can then come in here with a little bit of the metallic green. See, I'm tapping the metallic. I'm going to do a little bit of metallic in these. This is really, this is color shift. This shows, it goes on glass really well, stays on glass. But this shows up when it dries, that it's just metallic, okay? All right, now I'm going to tap that on the paper towel and get some of that darkness out of it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Juneberry, a little bit of the purple color shift, it's called Purple Flash. All right, and I'm gonna put the tip, a little tip of white. Now look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tap it in and twist right here. Tap and twist. All right, and that's loading. Tap, twist. You see the whites all on that one inside? Okay, now I could test it over here. So after I get it going where I like it, then I can just tap. Tap a little bit to fill it in if it's not filling in. All right, so I already got a white glow on it. I'm going to go get some more white up here. All right, can you see that? So after I get going, I'm tapping. Tapping, tapping. I can decide, tapping and twisting, I can decide in a few minutes if, if I'm liking it. And I can come back and put a glow on it later. So push, twist, 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 twist. All right. So see how I'm making the cluster of grapes happen? touching the white but it's not doing anything 
I'm sorry, I keep sliding that out of the way. All right, I can go back to where I was putting these and twist, 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 twist. And that fast, you can start seeing the shading. And as you overlap, the dark would be underneath. All those dark ones underneath. And these clusters are on top. Okay, so another thing I do, all right, is I take the small dauber. And these would be new little berries coming up. All right, and they can be kind of limey green. All right, because that's got lots of shading. But when you put a few more with a little bit of lime in that, I'm not loving that one piece of green I have there. So I might go over that because this bright citrus has a nice look. And there is a color shift that color, but I just don't have it here. Okay, so there's just a few of those. And I don't want them all single. I would like to do some together. But look, it also looks good to just leave them not totally full in uh, covering. So it's a little see-through. I'm going to go over those colors I'm not thrilled about. Remember, those color shift, it's a new color shift color. I like the bright color better. There we go. So just tap if it's not covering well. All right. And over here, I got carried away. So I can come right in here and cover that up a little bit better. All right, that's not looking as good as I want it to, so I just come over here. There we go. Right. So, now I'm going to do these over here while I've got the daubers. Oh, I went right into the paint. I laid that right into my paint. That's not good. Okay, so I want you to see that is on the edge of the jar. <laughs> okay. Twist. You get white on there again. All right, tap. Twist. All right, we get a little bit of darkness in here, a little bit of blue. All right. So every time I twist, the blue would be on the left side there. See that? I can like to co copy that, cover that right there because I didn't like the way the stem was. Ah, oh, this is a little tricky because it has ridges. Okay. Now I'm going to put a couple. I could put smaller berries up here. Okay. This is a little bit of the color shift and it changes, it shifts color just like it says. Like those cars that go by and they say, oh, that's a gold car. Oh no, that's a purple car. What a color is that car? Okay. 
All right, so I put a little bit of blue there, so I need a few of these of blue over here. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, I'm taking a lot of y'all's time, but I just thought it'd be fun to show you quick dollar gifts. Dollar gifts and your time. Okay, so see your pretty little grapes around there? All right, and then if I had, I'm going to throw that in the water. And I got this with green on it, so I'm going to try to, not to get green on myself. Okay, so I could come in here. You wouldn't slide except I don't want to get all that dark green on me. Okay, so I've got the metallic color shift. Not metallic. It turns out metallic, but that's not the name of it, just to let you know. It's called Color Shift Purple Flash. Okay. All right, last little thing. We put a few little branches holding it. I don't want y'all to dip in it like that, so I'm, I'm being bad. Okay. Look. Just put a few little extra metallic, and this metallic dries really shiny and pretty. Okay, so throw that in the water. Get my little liner. This is a two script liner. All right, so that what I do is I can use dark green. I'll just use dark green, dark green or burnt umber. Okay, I'm gonna stroke through that and grab a little bit of white. All right. Now I'm going to grab these stems. All right, so let's see, we're going to just grab a couple of them. Okay. Pull, pull. See dark brown or sap green. And I'm going to streak a little teeny bit of white. So just a few places. You're going to pull this up, pull that up, and do that in a few places. Especially these little guys. So I think I need a little bit of white up here. All right. And you don't even have to put stems on some of these. All right. You can choose. And pull a little bit. But I need a teeny bit of white when I'm doing that. All right, they don't really have to be there. But then what I do do is I'm going to use a little bit of this light citrus and put some curls. Maybe I want some darks. All right, so you want to curl. They have tendrils on the grapes. All right, so I'm going to touch it and wiggle away or come here and make curl, curl. All right, and then I just sign it. All right, so on these, I can come in here because these little curls like this really show nice on the glass. Okay, so all you have to do is practice on those leaves and then the daubers make simple grapes so i could come around here and add some really tendrils now watch this i'm gonna come right in here and just pull these little guys out and away you can make it curl like that. 
but it's lots of times easier to get the very tip of this brush, touch here, and wiggle away. All right, so now what I'm gonna do before we end here is I'm going to pick up Citrus and the Purple Flash. And I'm gonna go around Okay, just so it looks like we've got a little bit of a grapevine. And see, I'm using black, I mean black, sap green, citrus, and purple flash. <coughs> okay, does that look fun yet? All right, so I'm gonna pick up with this angle brush and pull these little leaves. And I'm picking up more purple. Push, lift, push, push, push. And you're gonna slide, I'm sliding with the toe. See that point is the toe. The good thing about any of this is that we can still wash it off and start over if we're unhappy. <laughs> Excuse me. That purple around here, I think, really adds to it. But see, I'm not trying to make it perfectly. I'm trying to get some pretty colors in there. Loosey-goosey, loose I say. All right, I can come back in here and add a little bit more purple to some of these others. The purple didn't show too well. All right, now, just a fun little charger and you can sign it or personalize it. Put some curly cues around here if you want. But that is my relax and paint for today. And I, oh, I gotta show you dragonfly real quick. All right, so here's a dragonfly. And I want you to see that it looks milky. But when it dries, it's wonderful because it sparkles. So I can, I'll show you, I'm gonna put some on here. It comes in six different combinations of colors. Oh, those those um, curly cues are already dry, it's good. Okay, so now, Gives you this luster, beautiful luster. Now you don't want to cover the where the um, candle's going to be, but you can come all in here. You can add it on top. I don't know if you can see when I add it on top. It is a yummy, really yummy. Look at this. I can put it on my leaves. When it dries. It's these beautiful luster. Dark colors are best. It goes over dark colors really good. All right. So one little spot here. I can show you on the leaves. And I like to coat the grapes with them too. And it's like a dragonfly. You know how the dragonfly is beautiful. <clears throat> iridescent looks all on and a hummingbird does too this is what this is so all right so when this dries you're gonna have a luster that's really fun okay i'm gonna try to take a picture and see if i can help y'all see that but hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time